video, I'm going to take a look at the formed elements as well as the plasma, the two big components that make up the blood. Formed elements are the solids within the blood. They are composed of the red blood cells, which makes up around 40% to 45% of blood. The percentage of red blood cells, or RBCs, is known as the hematocrit. We also have white blood cells, which deal with the immune response, and we have platelets, which deals with clotting. Plasma, which is the fluid portion of blood, is a clear straw-colored fluid. This makes up around 55 to 60 percent of the blood. What I like to think of when I talk about blood is if you've ever been to a water park, and maybe at your water park you have a surrounding lagoon, and it's not the slides, it's just this, this waterway, it's a bunch of water, people in tubes just kind of moving throughout the water. That's how I like to think of blood. You have a lot of water, and then you have people floating around within the water. So plasma is made of mostly water, but 92% of the plasma is going to be water. Around 8% of the plasma are going to be solutes. If you remember from our discussion of chemistry, we have solvents and solutes. Solvent is the thing doing the dissolving, while solutes, remember the whole explanation of solute, the solutes are the ones being dissolved. These solutes that you can find in plasma include amino acids. Remember, these are the building blocks of proteins. You have proteins, which kind of makes sense if there's amino acids there. Carbohydrates, lipids, vitamins, hormones, electrolytes, and cell waste. There are three main proteins found within the plasma. The most abundant one is something called albumin. This is the smallest as well as the most abundant around. It makes up about 60% of the plasma proteins. The albumin is made in the liver. The other two plasma proteins are the globulins and the fibrinogens. The globulins make up around 36% of the plasma proteins. And we subdivide these into alpha, beta, and gamma. The alpha and beta are made in the liver and deal with transportation, while the gamma is made in lymphatic tissue and deals with types of antibodies. Don't forget we also have videos on the lymphatic system which will go more into what lymphatic tissue is and all that good stuff. Be sure to check out those videos as well. The fibrinogens, the other type of plasma protein, only makes up around 4% or so of the plasma proteins. They are the largest in size of the plasma proteins. So the albumins are the smallest in size, but make up the most of the plasma proteins, while the fibrinogens are the largest in size, but make up the smallest percentage of the plasma proteins. And the fibrinogens deal with something called blood coagulation. This is blood clumping. We have some other substances which we can find, for example, dissolved gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. And we also have nutrients which can be found, amino acids, simple sugars, nucleotides, as well as lipids. We also have electrolytes. This can be sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chloride, bicarbonate, phosphate, and sulfite ions. By the way, bicarbonate within the blood acts as a buffer, if you remember that from your chemistry portion. All right, in the next video, we're going to take a look at the origins of blood. Where does little blood cells come from?